So YouTube team, keep it clean. I I, I can't even lie. I'm, I'm I'm super hyped right now, man. And and I know I told y'all like temper your expectations. Don't expect too much from Rashad Bateman tomorrow. And and I'm still saying that, but ain't nobody tell y'all not to be hyped. Ain't nobody tell y'all not to be excited because we we got like so much great news all in just one second. Because I had tweeted. At about uh, 3.39, I said, ooh, I said it's 20 minutes till it becomes official. Till it becomes official because we all expected Rashad Bateman to play this week. I mean, they've been talking about it since last week. He was expected to play last week, but then the Ravens like, ah, no, let's just take another week. All right, cool. So then it was said that they expected him to play this week. So then Harbaugh even said it the other day. He was like, oh, we expect Rashad Bateman to play this week. And even though he said that, I was like, uh, I got to see it become official first. Because talk is one thing, but... I need to see that the Ravens actually activate our guy, Rashad Bateman. So, when it was determined that Sammy Watkins would not play in the game tomorrow against the Chargers, we was all like, oh, man, it's, it's, it's got to be. Even though we wanted to see all them boys play at the same time together, and we will see that eventually, but just not now. And that's okay. But it is now official. The Ravens have activated rookie first-round draft pick wide receiver, Rashad Bateman. So he will be making his in-season debut tomorrow against the Chargers. Now, something to keep in mind, something to think about when you watch this game. Something I've been thinking about, and a lot of y'all been thinking about it too. Originally, when Sammy Watkins was playing, I was like, okay, um, Rashad Bateman, passing game is going good. They've been doing their thing. Rashad Bateman, he, well, I expect him to, to get, 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 some, get a couple catches maybe, but none too crazy. He'd probably be on a pitch count, be on, be on a snap count, whatever. He ain't going to play too much, too much, but he's still going to get his in. Now that Sammy Watkins is out, it makes you wonder, like, oh, is Rashad Bateman like really going to be out there like that, like that? I still w would still say no, because it's his first game. It's his first game. But now I do feel like a little bit of uh, pressure has been added, just a little bit, not too much. But I feel like a little bit of pressure has been added on to Rashad Bateman's plate since Sammy Watkins is out. But now, we ain't forgetting about, of course, Hollywood. We ain't forgetting about Prochet. We ain't forgetting about Duvernay either. So shout out to them boys for, they've been coming through. They have been coming through. And of course, last week in a game against the Colts, Sammy Watkins went out, all them boys stepped up. And that's what we need from everybody. So, now we got Bateman back. We got Boyle back. And that wasn't the only announcements that the Ravens made. That wasn't it. We got another B. Le'Veon Bell will be playing in the game tomorrow. And after, <laughs> after last week, I don't really think that's much of a surprise. Ravens' run game has been a big yikes this uh, season, and it's been the mix of a lot of things. One, it's been the mesh point. Mesh point is big because when Lamar is either handed off to the running backs or keeping it, they just don't have the chemistry like a Gus Edwards, like a J.K. Dobbins, like a Justice Hill. And that's something that me personally, I took for granted. Because y'all have heard me say plenty of times, oh, any running back you put back there, they're going to be straight. But it just hasn't been that simple. We've seen guys like Nate McCrary in the preseason do his thing. We've seen guys like Tyson, Tyson Williams in the preseason do his thing. And these guys are guys that have been here this offseason. But then with a uh, Devontae Freeman, that, that mesh point wasn't so pretty. With Latavius Murray, that mesh point wasn't so pretty. Uh, even with Le'Veon Bell. Now, Le'Veon Bell, he only did it for one game, so it's, it's still early. So, I mean, we're going to see that mesh point tomorrow. But that's been big. Uh, of course, the offensive line, that's also been big because they've been up and down. Now, if you look at the, um, their win, the, the, their win uh, percentage when it comes to pass blocking and run blocking, they up there in a good way. And I was like, oh, okay. So, is this about our guys not hitting them holes the right way? So that could be it too. But I think a huge part of why the run game has not been so effective this year is because teams have been selling out. They've been selling out to stop the run game. So they've been, they've been putting everything into where it's like, hey, these Ravens, they're not about to run on us. But, oh, they have definitely been reminded that, oh, these Ravens, they ain't going to run on you, but they'll sure pass on you. And that's been a beautiful thing. But anyway, so we got Bateman. We got Bell, and now we got Brute, because this is something that we needed. The Ravens also elevated Andre Smith for the game tomorrow against the Chargers. Now, you know our offensive line has been rough. You know our offensive line has been a big yikes. 
It's been a struggle. Again, they, they ain't been all bad. But as far as injuries, obviously Ronnie Stanley, Villanueva, he's been hurt. Tyree Phillips got put on injured reserve. And, I mean, it's, it's been rough. We lost Ben Cleveland last week. Now he's on injured reserve. So the, the offensive line has been going through it physically. But guess what? They, 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 they elevated Andre Smith, so they, they got another body on there. But that's not it. That's not it. We got the quadruple great news today because we got Bateman. We got Bell. We got some brute with Andre Smith. And then we get our boy, Tyree Phillips, back in the mix. And Tyree Phillips being back, what does this give you? This gives you a swing, man. This guy could swing around the whole offensive line except center. Well, maybe he could do that too. But he was originally the starter at left guard. He can play left tackle. He can play right tackle. He can play right guard. You can have this guy move around just in case. But it's nice to actually be getting him back. Because when he went down, I believe, let me know if I'm wrong, but I believe if my memory serves me correctly, and, and you know, y'all know a lot of time my memory don't be serving me correctly. Like just to give you an example, in uh, one of the recent questions from subscriber videos that we put out earlier today, somebody asked, can Mark Andrews be uh, one of the best Ravens tight ends? And I was thinking like, uh, yeah. And in the video I said, uh, yeah, he ain't got no competition. It's just what, Todd Heap and Dennis Pitta. That's all he's going against. Like, what's that? But because my memory wasn't serving me correctly, I forgot all about Shannon Sharp. And y'all let me know in the comment section. Respectfully, y'all did. That's why I appreciate y'all team. Keep it clean because you let me know respectfully. But anyway, if my memory serves me correct, correctly, I believe when Tyree Phillips got hurt, I believe he was carted off. I believe he was. I'm not 1,000% sure, but I believe he was. But either way, if he was, if he wasn't, he's back. And for us as Ravens fans to be seeing guys come back, that's so beautiful. It almost makes you want to cry happy tears. But this is nice. So welcome back, Bateman. Well, actually, welcome, Bateman, because this is his regular season debut. He didn't even play in the preseason. So welcome back, Bateman. Uh, welcome back again, Bell. Welcome back again, Andre Smith. And welcome back, Tyree Phillips. So I love that we can all collectively say together as an entire team, keep it clean, as all the Ravens fans all across the world, we can collectively say all together that unlike these guys are now, when it comes to their status on the roster and playing and their play status and, and, and if they can practice or not, like we don't have to say anymore when it comes to these four players, I'm out.